there, Mild Terry here, and I'm finally out walking again after two months. Oh my gosh, it feels like an eternity, doesn't it? But like I told y'all, things are coming back to normal. All right, one of my viewers caught me. Y'all know I've been lying to you, right? Absolutely right. All right, I have a confession to make. Um, or maybe I just caught him off guard. I am not living in my van. Can you believe that? Nope, I am living in beautiful San Diego, California. Oh my gosh, this place is amazing. Um, I guess I caught someone off guard and uh, in the comments and they were like, I don't wanna watch somebody with a fantasy van life. And it's like, oh, trust me, honey, my life has not been a fantasy. Um, but I thought I've been telling you guys and keeping you guys posted, but I'm gonna give you the quick little story. Um, a year ago today, my ex-husband, my first ex-husband, what his wife passed away, and uh, it was a horrible, horrible, tragic death. And uh, so about six months ago, I came down here to help him out, you know, and, uh, you know, help him clean stuff and do stuff, get his life back on track, you know, with the grieving in progress. But uh, then he needed some surgery, so I decided to stay and take care of him. And then I needed some surgery, and guess what? I should have been back on the road, but I caught this horrible, nasty disease in the hospital, Pseudomonas, and uh, that's why I've been in bed sleeping, not out, not driving, not doing anything. Oh my gosh, maybe making earrings, that's about it. But uh, between the morphine that I had to take for the uh, pain, oh my gosh, look up Pseudomonas. I had a breast reduction and basically this disease just eats your flesh and it's like, oh my God, I've been battling it and uh, we are over the hump. I thought I'd get my uh, surgery. I got it on October 21st and I thought I'd be out of here, you know, November. It's like, cause I didn't want to make Thanksgiving plans, you know, it's like, um, but you know, health has been a struggle. Now, wait a minute, now that's the bad news. Okay, the good news is, is uh, me and uh, Louie, our relationship, we're friends now, you know. Um, we're good friends now, you know. Uh, I don't want to say anything more than that, but I think yesterday, two days ago, we went to La Mesa RV, and uh, we started shopping around for a van that both of us could fit in, and uh, you know, and to go camping. Now, Louie was the first person to take me camping back in the 70s. We had a uh, Vista Cruiser station wagon, and it was a lot of fun. So, um, and I want to get them back out there camping, you know, I say camping is one of the best things you can do for your soul. It really nourishes it. And uh, I love camping. I, I really do. Um, so I, I feel bad if you think I misled you, but I thought I've told everybody when I'm in the hospital, uh, how I'm feeling. I'm doing videotape in a bedroom, um, but I'm being clear right now. I am living in a house. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. I, I just enjoy Mr. Louis's company. Um, and if I had my choice, I would be out camping. I really would. Uh, that's so much more fun. Uh, I miss it. I miss going to all my places and all my restaurants. But, uh, you know, I told you all last year what I wanted for uh, Christmas was uh, a companion, someone to travel with. And it looks like I'll have someone to travel with me, which will be really, really wonderful. All right, let's look over here. They're having a nice little meeting. Oh, I love listening to that. So beautiful here it really is um, yeah in fact I had to uh, go up to Redlands a couple of weeks ago and uh, I couldn't even stealth camp why because uh, I had to have I get my bandages changed two to three times a day and it's pain well it was painful it was extremely painful today doctor's visit was painful oh my gosh <sighs> don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this again. So now I'm going to be honest with you and tell you my schedule. Um, I got the green light. Hopefully uh, the wounds are closing. Uh, let's see. I have my next doctor's appointment on Monday. Uh, my son comes in on the 15th. I get to spend only one day with him this Christmas, but that's okay. One day is better than no days, right? And then on 16th for a week, I get my camping cabin which will lead me up to Christmas. I'll probably do Christmas in Bullhead City. And then from Bullhead City, I'm going to go to 
a quartz site for the RTR and join up with other campers. Haven't decided where I'm camping at. Hopefully I can turn it into a craft in RTR. I'm gonna get with Marie and see what ideas she has. And I have another friend there, uh, Brenda. She's uh, at the bead shop uh, doing art classes. So uh, I'm, I'm hoping to spend a month out there. Um, it, it should be a lot of fun. All right, so then what happens after that? Well, a lot of my viewers look at my videos, know that my tooth broke last year and the VA, uh, oh, slow as molasses. They were supposed to put a crown on it. I finally, finally got an appointment that they actually kept the appointment for, for my crown. And uh, they did a full dental exam since it's been such a long time. Do I need a crown? I do not need a crown. I need four crowns. So I'm coming back uh, February, March to San Diego. And uh, then I uh, get another surgery. Uh, the crowns, it's gonna, I gotta go to the periodontist. Eight weeks later, they'll be able to put on crowns. But here's the good news. You know, yes, I'm taking care of my health and I think you guys should take care of your health. It's so much easier before you take off camping. But uh, yesterday, Mr. Louie and I went to uh, La Mesa RV and we just started looking at little camper vans. Um, so you guys are the benefit of it. I found a camper van I'm in love with. He does not, that's okay. Um, then I also found a camper van that is for wheelchairs too. I mean, you never see a, a RV for specifically for people with wheelchairs, but I guess uh, our population is aging. So I'm gonna splice them in, so yay. Um, so I hope you all understand. Um, and a lot of you people, I think a month ago, I told you guys, this is where it's at. I'm living in a house and you're, all, and you know, um, again, I reiterate and you're all like, well, that's okay. We just love you because, uh, you're you, um, that, and, uh, I want to do my arts and crafts videos. Um, and y'all wrote to me and said, it's your channel, do what you want. And I said, you guys are the coolest ever. You really are. Um, thank you for that. Um, but life progresses and it's a postcard from Terry, meaning I'm just checking in with y'all and letting you know what I'm up to. Um, it's funny. So let's go back to camping. I'm a stealth camper. I love stealth camping. I love city life and I do love BLM, but I'm not sure I can teach Mr. Louie how to stealth camp or whether he wants to stealth camp. Um, you know, it's, it's one of those things I'm so comfortable camping on the streets. I don't have a problem with it, but uh, some people, you know, and I know I have a lot of viewers there. It's, it's not an easy transition to make. I'm gonna agree with you on that. Um, stealth camping is not for everybody, but you know, like me, I want to go to Laguna Beach right now. They're having the, uh, oh, what do they call it? The Christmas fantasy instead of the sawdust festival. But it's like, it's only on the weekends and a hotel up there, two, $300. This is why I stealth camp. You know, I can't afford the restaurants, the hotel rooms or anything. Um, but I enjoy having a great time. I really do. So uh, yeah, I want to go up to Laguna Beach. I miss my seal beach. Um, you know, oh, today we went to uh, La Jolla Shores, which is where they do a lot of kayaking in the caves out here in La Jolla. Uh, beautiful. Uh, I actually have a lunch spot that I like. So, uh, you know, here's the thing. Things are progressing. They may work out with Louie. They may not work out with Louie. I'm definitely going back camping, but I don't know if I'm gonna be a full-time camper, part-time camper. I know I have uh, my family on the East Coast I have to visit every year. Uh, this year I didn't due to all my health problems. Um, and that's why I tell y'all, do it, do it now, do it while you can. All right, I hope I'm being perfectly clear. Um, my health has to come first and uh, that's, I'm making it my priority, okay? And uh, I do love traveling. What do I love more, traveling or making earrings? Oh, that's a good question. If I had to give up one thing, oh, I could never give up either. Isn't that funny? And, uh, oh, and that's another thing. I know I turned my van into the craftiest camper van on the planet and it's wonderful, but uh, 
maybe I'll turn it into a camper van for two. Uh, I watched Dr. Sunny Lee, and I think it's S-O-N-N-Y-L-E-E, -E, Dr. Sunny Lee, and him and his wife traveled the entire globe in a Toyota Sienna. And it's like, because he built up the floor and all their storage is in the floor, I'm not sure if I could do that, especially with another human being, you know? Um, I'd be afraid to go to Europe and England, but I'm saying that now. Maybe I could do that, right? I don't know. That would be that would be a blast. Uh, part of my family's from uh, Quebec, Canada, so I have relatives up there, and I do have my passport now. So yay! And uh, you know, my the other part of my family is from Budapest, so uh, <laughs> hence the hair and the skin coloration and everything. So uh, Budapest may be nice. You know, I, uh, like I said, I hate things like, you know, you fly to Australia and, you know, you get, it takes 18 hours. I know it took like 18 hours to fly to Korea when I was in the military. And it's like, what, you're going to spend one week in Australia and then fly all the way home? That seems like a long time. You know, I'd rather do like Australia and Tokyo and everything. Oh, and I'm also watching the Penny Pinchin Globetrotter. Uh, she's a Facebook woman and uh, she's going to do like a 10 day tour of uh, Thailand. And I love all things from uh, Asia. I really do. It's so unique. So uh, I'm <laughs> postcards from Terry, maybe sending you a, a postcard from Thailand. Um, and maybe Mr. Louie and I will go on a cruise. Who knows? You know, I know my sister and I are going to go on a cruise. So it's uh, it's not a hard set rule that I have to be in my van, uh, even though I love it. I do. Um, I think it's the best life possible. Uh, that's why I agree with Bob on almost everything. I love van camping, but uh, you know, health comes first and I'm doing a great job with my health. And uh, that's the important thing. And uh, I can't believe I walked seven and a half miles yesterday, but really I've been way too uh, sick. I've been uh, sleeping and I'm not sure whether it's from the uh, uh, the bacteria or whatever that I got, the pseudomonas. Was that making me tired? My body fighting an infection? Uh, was it the morphine? I have no idea. And yeah, they only give it to you if you're in extreme pain. And yeah, I was in extreme pain. I was happy to see those little pills go. Uh, now, not so much uh, pain anymore. So thank God. And thank God my health is slowly returning. I did not bring Miss Lucy on this walk. And uh, she would probably be really, really tired of it. Anyhow, I'm going to close the video. I hope you enjoyed my walk around the lake. It really is super duper beautiful here. If you have any more questions, I don't mind questions. I don't mind comments. Don't accuse me of anything. Just ask. You know, I, I try to be 100% honest with everybody. I try to let you know up to date what I'm up to. So I can see if you haven't seen a video in a couple of months and it's like, what? She was living in a van and now all of a sudden uh, she's not. That's what's happening. Uh, you know, I it, we're, we're not dating, dating. We're taking things slowly and figuring each other out. You know, the marriage broke apart for a reason. Lots of reasons. <laughs> But, uh, you know, and uh, tragedy, like uh, most people couldn't understand. So uh, we're trying to figure it out. And uh, I appreciate you guys giving me the chance to figure it out. Anyhow, I'm going to say good night to everybody. I will see you all down the road. And I hope you love the uh, videos of all the little camper vans that I took a tape of. Uh, boy, you guys are going to get sick of uh, watching videos. I hope I said... Did I tell you about that in this? We went to La Mesa RV and I took a bunch of video of all sorts of different camper vans. Well, that's just the start. It's just first blush. We got to find out what both of us like to camp in. Anyhow, I'm going to leave you here. Oh my gosh, doesn't get any prettier than this, does it? All right, I'll see you all down the road. Bye.